Tucker Carlson not happy at all with the move by the Canadian government to declare an emergency when it comes to the protests in Ottawa. Here is what he had to say about it. When thousands of blue collar workers showed up in Ottawa several weeks ago to protest the tyranny being imposed against them, the Prime Minister of Canada refused to meet with them or to speak to them. Instead, he fled the city. And then from his bunker, he called the truckers Nazis. When they still didn't leave the city, Justin Trudeau suspended democracy and declared Canada a dictatorship. The Emergencies Act is martial law. It has never been invoked in the history of that country. Now, by law, the Emergencies Act is allowed only in emergencies, in, quote, urgent and critical situations that seriously endanger the lives, health, or safety of Canadians. What's happening now does not qualify. What's happening in Canada now is not an emergency. So it is it an overstatement to compare what is happening in Canada right now to what happens in a Stalinist dictatorship? Well, the slogans are different. In the Eastern Bloc, they used to talk about solidarity. In Canada, they talk about diversity. But the repression is similar. Okay, he can't, he's like contractually not able to do a segment without mocking diversity for some weird reason. Uh, yes, it is the exact same repression as in Stalinism. It's the same, it's the same camps and the same, you know, uh, there's just pits of bodies. It's, it's the same really, it is tyrannical, it's a dictatorship because they want them to get shots that they're providing free of charge. Again, it's to, just- By the way, save their lives. To save lives. lives. Uh, the entire thing obviously is ridiculous. We're, we're gonna talk about this. I just wanna remind you of a few things. Again, bearing in mind that these people do not even have a vague memory of how to operate in good faith. So uh, Tucker Carlson, who believes eventually stopping the protest is the same exact thing as Stalinism. Uh, he is the guy, by the way, who said of Black Lives Matter protesters just a couple of years ago, that they should be uh, labeled domestic terrorists, arrested and paraded in front of cameras like MS-13. They should be frog marched in front of cameras. They should be plucked off of the streets. Tom uh, Cotton literally said send in the troops. So again, the right, not in favor of this emergency order, but when Trump was talking about sending his goon squad and they were black bagging people and throwing them the back of like Kia minivans and everything, all of them were totally fine with this when they were buzzing protesters with helicopters and bashing people out of the, the peaceful guitar playing protesters that had assembled outside of the White House. That was perfectly acceptable. This is obviously insane and unacceptable. Yeah. Um, it's just it's it's just not honest. So how do we have a serious conversation about this? So uh, look now, when a Republican when someone comes out as a Republican, as, as recently an NBC Sports reporter retired and said that she was going to go into Republican politics, I now think they're insane and racist. Uh, oh, you can't say that. What are you talking about? Look, there's Tucker Carlson. They're all fans of Trump and Tucker Carlson and Tom Cotton and all these guys, right? So Tucker Carlson says if it's good, upstanding white right wingers uh, that are truckers then they're patriots and heroes and it's Stalinist to try to save their lives. Stalin killed about 25 million people, he didn't save anybody's life, okay? So, and then, but if it's Black Lives Matter protesters, it's like I said, arrest them, they're terrorists, you know, treat them with you know the full force of the law. Gee, I wonder what the difference is, hmm. I wonder what the difference is. Come on guys, you know why they do it? Cuz they're racist. Yes, Oh no, okay, call the racist, cry, cry, cry. Shut up and actually understand logic and reasoning. I know right wing hates logic, they despise it, right? Mm -hmm. And it's because they just, they, can't, they got to be racist under any and all circumstances and logic bothers them. They're like, oh, God damn it, if we use logic, we can't actually be racist. Yeah. So, and left wing, right wing, like they're gonna care to do principled stands like we are. Like we often do and oftentimes say, "Oh no, you should let the right wingers do that. They've never done a principal stand in their life. I've never once seen them say, oh yeah, you know what, the left wing has a good point there. Mm -hmm. Or you know what, hey, the left wing is saying the same thing we were, maybe they should be protected too. No, the minute there's any opportunity, crush them, crush them. I mean, look, Standing Rock, so the Tucker Carlson said, I can't believe Trudeau didn't even meet with them. Did anybody meet with the folks in Standing Rock? Nobody in the government met with them. No. Okay, now, mind you, by the way, that was under Barack Obama. Yeah. Even corporate Democrats like Obama wouldn't deign to meet with left wing protesters. Never, oh, left wing protesters. I don't know that Obama ever met with a single one in eight years. And what would Fox have said if he did? Yeah, they're all catering to the left wing terrorists, yeah. etc., right? And so, and then Trump and, and DeSantis and all their heroes. 
laws are being passed, passed left and right, including in Florida. Uh, uh, number one, if there's a left-wing protest, you're allowed to run them over, as John said. Those are literal laws where they say, hey, you won't be prosecuted mm -hmm. if there's a protester in the streets or the highways, like the truckers, and you run them over and kill them, we will not prosecute you. Imagine if Trudeau said that. Imagine if Trudeau said, let's pass a law that if they're in the street, you can run them over and kill them and we won't prosecute you. I mean, what he already called him a Stalinist, what would he call him then, okay? <laughs> So, and by the way, you want to protest Israel? That is illegal in many states, including Florida. Not any kind of protest, but if you do a BDS protest and you have a government contract, they're gonna take that away from you, they're gonna punish you. They don't believe in free speech at all. Yeah. Massive, unbelievable liars. And then finally, martial law. He said, "Oh my God, can you believe they're gonna doing martial law? Michael Flynn, the former national security advisor for Donald Trump, went to the White House after the election and argued that Donald Trump should impose martial law in America and seize the ballot boxes and declare himself president, even though he lost. They had a three hour debate in the White House as to whether they should declare martial law and end our democracy. The only reason why Trump didn't agree to it is because the rest of the staff said they would all resign mm -hmm. and they would not allow it. So credit to whatever, and. The, horrible Trump loyalists that were there at the end that said, killing democracy seems just an inch too far, right? But Trump entertained it for three hours. You're talking about martial, you're now upset about martial law, Tucker Carlson, you're now upset about it. How many times did you cover that story on Fox News? Zero, Yeah, because you're a gigantic liar and you never care about it any of the issues. Your whole idea is how can white people maintain their power no matter what? That's the prism through which Tucker Carlson and almost the entire right wing sees the world. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.